Welcome everyone, bienvenue, herzlich willkommen to the European Parliament, to this special event hosted uh, by Euronet. Uh, and we hope that we're going to have a very exciting, challenging, uh, interactive afternoon that we'll be able to take lots of questions from you. Particularly, we have lots of students who have uh, a lot to say, hopefully, about the state of journalism. The reason why uh, we are hosting this event is because there is a perception that journalism in Europe is in crisis. I have to introduce this uh, discussion and I want to begin uh, to say that uh, it's very important to speak of European journalism and media in the context of the crisis uh, that the EU is currently experiencing. We know that on each election the nationalist and populist parties win. We know that the European Union globally is in a difficult situation and so to speak about media today is uh, I think more important than never. We can see, in fact, that there is a very uh, wide diversity of journalism. We should even talk about journalisms in Europe in some way, because, of course, we can distinguish several different kinds of, of schools of thought and different cultures of journalism. We have here a very renowned journalist around the table, and probably they will catch this ball and try to elaborate on that. But we could, of course, talk about Anglo-American journalism, or about Mediterranean journalism, or about continental journalism. It's true that it's deeply rooted also on the cultures, and on the national cultures, and on the political cultures. So if we take it by that angle, we could say that, in fact, there are as many journalism as there are countries in Europe. We have always had this situation in Europe uh, that journalists were above all interested in their home countries and uh, above all writing about their domestic uh, affairs. Uh, but the, given the crisis which we are going through today and it's the economic crisis of the sector, of course, uh, when we can speak uh, later about the reasons why the media are worse off than they were a few years ago, We don't necessarily have to be boring or remain being boring. Um, it, 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 we don't have to be appealing and being funny, but we have to be interesting. And yes, we have to have a good policy to communicate because really the principles remain the same. And good policy can exist without good communication, but good communication cannot exist without good policy. So maybe we should be getting less excited about the tools and more thinking about the content um, that we have. Uh, one of the most important elements of the mission of public radio is to inform the citizens in a reliable way about all the aspects of social, economical, political and cultural life.